What's up everybody? This is Chris Hamilton with Peach Life Productions. Hope you enjoyed that B-roll footage. I just wanted to talk for a second a little bit about how I captured that recent uh, B-roll. Um, it was done here locally at Hurricane Shoals Park in Jefferson, Georgia. A lot of beautiful old homes. And they do a lot of events there. Um, some of the events that they do are like Civil War reenactments and uh, it's a really nice place to check out if you just want a nice hike or you want to see what the river looks like. So this week on the vlog I just wanted to keep it short and sweet and talk to you a little bit about how to record and plan your footage. As a cinematographer planning is super important. Really as a videographer planning is important. One of my favorite things about scene planning is choosing three things, specifically your pathway, your subject, and your follow through. Why are those things important? Well, I'll talk just briefly about it. First, pathway. You wanna make sure that in your video, you're going a similar direction each time. Uh, and when I talk about direction, I mean like, if you're going up, then your next scene should be going down or following the same path up and continuing into something else uh, and vice versa if you're going back and forth then you want to follow the same path you wouldn't want to jump jump cut from a side scene to an up scene it would be abrupt to the eye and it would be very distracting so one of the things that i do in planning is i think specifically about what direction would capture the most efficient um, angle for me. For instance, uh, one of the scenes that I really loved was the barn scene. Uh, and there in that uh, barn scene, then you could see a couple of times that I went from side to side. And the reason I did that with a building like that is because you can get the full view of that subject with a side panning motion. If I was going up, the barn would disappear from the scene very quickly. So with something long, doing a side-to-side -side pan is a very good idea. The next thing I wanted to talk about was the subject. Uh, it's important to pick your subject wisely. Uh, one of the things that I choose for picking the subject is how much background and foreground there is because foreground can give you a good introduction to your subject and background gives some interest to the scene so that uh, everybody's eye is drawn instantly to the subject. One of the things that you saw in that barn scene was the reveal using the foreground of the fence to reveal the barn. So just a little tip um, using reveals and checking your foreground and background on your subject. Uh, the other thing that I was going to talk about is your follow through and there's several different ways you can follow through on choosing your subject and having the right path and direction to, uh, to display your subject. Uh, for instance, you might think about the fact that you need to show this subject several different times in many different scenes. So you wouldn't want to use the same angle each time or the same direction of your uh, camera pan. So four of the basic ways that I like to use and you can expand on is uh, the simple up and down motion of the camera, panning the camera up, panning the camera down, um, and cutting in between that. You know, if you're going up, then you can cut to another angle and uh, continue up or start going down from there. Um, you have the side to side pan as we talked about before. And then you have the rise and the fall. And the difference between a rise and a fall and the up and down is up and down is just pointing the lens in an up direction or a down direction. With the rise and the fall, you're rising the whole camera or raising the whole camera up and falling the whole camera down. An example of this would be when I was falling down uh, from the balcony of the barn. That way you could still see straight ahead the field and the uh, 
fence part of the balcony passed through until we got to the floor. So one of the first scenes that I had was a wide out shot. And then the super zoom allowed me to zoom into a close shot of a specific subject. So the wide out shot will give you an establishing scene. The super zoom can allow you to focus in on a specific subject. And you can use the super zoom in several different ways. If you noticed along the fence, I allowed the suit or used the super zoom to direct the path to my next scene. Uh, going along the fence to the bridge and then super zooming into the bridge to cut into some of the scenes from the bridge. So super zoom is very efficient if you want to cover more ground in your scenery and it gives a nice cinematic effect. Uh, the next time that I talk to you on my vlog, I'd like to talk a little bit about editing tips that include how to get super zoom uh, and how to do it effectively. Um, because a lot of times with super zoom, you can do it and it'll look like a jump cut. So there's a specific way to do that. You don't wanna go too fast so that it's not a jump cut, which is just cut from scene to scene. But you don't wanna to go too slow because if you go too slow, it may not have that zoom effect, that transportation effect. So. I'll talk a little bit about that the next time around, but for now, that is all I wanted to discuss with you on this week's uh, techniques version of the vlog, and I'm naming this officially Techniques Tuesday, so look out for that hashtag and follow my vlog on Techniques Tuesday. Just a side note, if you're interested in using me as a videographer, check out my website in the description below for details on how you can do that. Also, coming soon, probably around the springtime, I'll have available for you as a vlogger to purchase some of the b-roll footage that you've just seen for your own personal vlogs. So if you're an outdoor vlogger, a product vlogger, whatever you do, let me know. Shoot me some comments and tell me what kind of b-roll you'd like to see and i'll have that up maybe around april of 2020 so that you can purchase some of that footage and use it in your own vlog all right guys thanks for joining me we'll talk to you on friday to show you the behind the scenes take care